Now here's the only other computer that's still with us that you guys know about, the Dell Inspiron 1525 from 2008. This computer has an Intel Core 2 Duo running at 1.6 GHz. It has 1 GB of RAM and a 120 GB SATA hard drive. Nothing has changed with this computer. It has deteriorated a little bit. The battery is pretty much completely gone. It only gives me like 20 minutes of run time now and even when the charge, it still has enough charge to power everything fine. It just likes, the laptop just likes to do a hard shut off at random. So I'm thinking, I'm hoping that's the uh, battery. Uh, if it's something wrong with the laptop itself causing it to randomly shut off then uh, I'm pretty much screwed because this is my main computer. I use this for everything. But uh, it's no longer running Windows 7. Uh, I'll just say that Windows 7 quit working. So I now have Windows Vista back on it from the original uh, DVD that came with the laptop. So uh, let's power it on. I have a program uh, that does wallpaper changes that will be running in a second. It's called, uh, I forget what it's called, but it came with some sort of Microsoft uh, package for Windows XP. And the wallpaper changer still works for Windows Vista as long as you uh, set the compatibility settings to XP. So I have like 50 different Windows Vista wallpapers that it switches between every like 15 minutes or so. So, yeah, I, I, I use this for everything. So, that's all I'm going to show this. There it is. Called, uh, oh, let's see. This thing's slow. It's not as fast as it was with Windows 7. It is a little bit sluggish. Probably could use a RAM upgrade. One gigabyte might not be cutting it anymore. It's trying to open the right click menu. Well, after it changed the wallpaper, it finally opened the uh, menu. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at that. What a piece of junk. That's never happened before. It happened just because I opened the right click menu. What a piece of crap. So that's probably going to close now. Oh well. Well anyway, there's the Dell Inspiron 1525 and now we'll shut her down. Well, it went into standby. That's good enough for me. Next. Now we're on to the new members of my computer family, the computers you guys have never seen before. Starting with this Acer Aspire 3050. I got this computer last summer. Uh, my friend Sean, who hates Pentiums but loves giving me cell phones, he gave this to me. It's completely perfect working. This was uh, his sister's laptop and she went off to college and never took it with her and it was just sitting around the house for many months and he was tired of it lying around so he asked me one day if I wanted to stop by his place and grab it I said sure so uh, yeah this laptop works absolutely perfect there is nothing wrong with it and the only cosmetic flukes are a tiny little crack right there which is barely even visible and I put this apple sticker here this there's a lot of little scratches here that were not there before and this is my school laptop I take this to school with me and one day I was you I, I took it out of my book bag at school and it had a bunch of digs and scratches and you can actually kinda see the ends of some of the scratches 
and it looked like someone just took a knife and just went right there and I don't know if someone vandalized this thing or if it was scratching against something in my book bag I don't know but I put the sticker there and it covers it up nicely battery holds an absolutely awesome charge I get uh, probably three hours out of this if I have the Wi-Fi turned off the sound muted and the screen turned down under normal use with Wi-Fi and everything I get two hours probably so it really does hold a great charge it's got directional keys on the uh, keypad hot keys up here power button stuff like that so I'll have to give you the full tour of this computer I forgot to give the specs first this computer has an AMD K8 Sempron running at 1.6 gigahertz it has 512 megabytes of RAM and an 80 gigabyte hard drive so it's a pretty well equipped computer but the only problem with this is it's absolutely sl it's, it's terribly slow it's very 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 slow I don't know why it has a brand new Windows installation on it from the original restore DVDs Windows XP Media Center Edition but it's just so slow the least thing you do whether it be opening the start menu or just clicking on an icon in the desktop to uh, select it the hard drive starts churning away and it goes for like two minutes before it finally stops just from doing a really tiny thing like that so I don't know what's up with it so on the front here we have headphone microphone and line in ports we have a Bluetooth switch. This laptop does not have Bluetooth. We have a Wi-Fi switch. It does have Wi-Fi. Stereo speakers on the front. Power and battery lights. Around the left side here, we have VGA output, S-Video output, a USB port. This computer has uh, USB 2.0 ports. An express card slot. A card reader, it accepts SD, XD, probably MMC, yeah it does support MMC, and a couple other types of cards, probably uh, Sony's memory sticks. Then on the right side here, we have a modem, we have the AC uh, adapter jack, which is in good shape, thank god, and uh, all, all of Acer's laptops are the same. I still have the Acer Extensa's uh, AC power cord because it works on this laptop. A DVD RW drive. Around the back here we have two more USB 2.0 ports, the battery, and an Ethernet jack. So now, let's power it on. I did buy a stick of RAM for this on eBay to bump it to a gigabyte of RAM, but the RAM stick was bad. I paid six bucks for it and it was bad and uh, due to some uh, well we'll say reasoning between me and mom uh, we decided it was best just to let it go six bucks wasn't a big loss I guess I gotta turn the screen brightness up and it's resuming from hibernation I forgot I had this running last night and I just closed it. I set the white balance here. Set the brightness down. Okay. There we go. Aspire series. Whoops. The screen, I hate when it does that. The screen goes dark again. Hold on. There we go. It says wireless network connection is now connected. This has uh, ATI, ATI Radeon X1100 graphics, which are kind of weak considering this laptop's age, but they're good enough. We'll look at the spec sheet here, the property sheet. See, it's very slow. There, the property sheet just came up now. It says, Microsoft Windows XP Media Center Edition version 2002 Service Pack 3. The uh, setup only made me put in my first name. Acer Incorporated Acer System Mobile AMD Sempron 3400 Plus. It's running at 800 megahertz because I have it. I have the processor throttling activated. I don't know why it didn't come back to 1.8 gigahertz when I plugged it in, but oh well. 
480 megabytes of RAM. It's using like 32 megabytes of graphics. And then support information. So, uh, I don't use this a whole heck of a lot. It is my school laptop, so I have a lot of school documents on here. I use it as my sound recording laptop because for some reason the Dell sound, the line in port just doesn't work. It doesn't want to set it right to record from it. So, oh well. So this is my sound recording laptop. And, uh... Other than that, I just use this whenever whenever I'm uh, away from a power jack, because Lord knows I can't use the uh, Dell on the battery, so I use this. I have Microsoft Flight Simulator 98 on here. I've been playing with a lot. I bought that at the thrift store for like 25 cents, the original CD-ROM. And that's it. So, now we'll shut it down. This is Acer's uh, E, it's called Empowering Technology. It's a suite of uh, management programs that only works on Acer computers. Now if I unplug it here, see what the battery life says. One hour, 59 minutes. That's with the screen all the way up, Wi-Fi on, and such. Alright, so now we'll shut it down. And as you can see, the hard drive is just working away constantly. It's very slow. Trying to shut down. I'll probably cut a lot of this video. Oh no, I guess it's going to shut down now. But this thing's just very slow. Like, to open a web browser takes two or three minutes. It's just very slow. At least it's not slow opening like Microsoft Office or something. But it's a good laptop. It's a very good laptop. So this was the uh, successor to the Acer Extensa 501DX. I threw away the Acer the same day I got this. In agreement between Mum and I. So, that is this.